let's go to settings. Let's turn off the show boot picker mode. Turn this off. Let's see the SIP settings. Then click on return. Let's see SM bio settings. Then return. Let's check miscellaneous settings. Firewire boot, NVMe boot, XHCI boot, wake on WLAN. Then go back. Then the non metal settings. Let's see. This is the beta blur. When you go into menu bar, you will see there is a kind of uh, blurring thing click the menu and mode. enable if we enable this this will be then uh, return to settings this will be gone it, it will be okay see there is a uh, blurry show this. then there is a developer settings there see, that? see that there is a blurry thing Put in then return back to settings. Mouse. Arrow, there is a blurry like square and pixelated. That will be removed. Then return back to the main menu. Battle yes. Yeah. Then let's click on build and install open yes. core. Enable that. As you can see, there is this model is MacBook Pro 7. The common one is um, MacBook Pro 20, click mid 2010 that I'm using in this video. Let's yeah, click on build and install Open Core. Then there is a developer settings. See that? Uh, when you yeah, see when you click on this, it the open. Let's uh, click again the build open core. Then there it goes. Back. Main menu. It's. Yeah. Then let's click it's on. It's showing the information. Open puts uh, As you can see, the temporary location. This model is MacBook Pro 7. Then it changed to install one. open yeah. core. Um, MacBook Pro 20, mid 2010. That I'm then using. click and install open screen. core. Let's click on build and install open core. There, it's checking the system. When you see, when you click on this bit, it will not be open. Let's uh, click again the build open core. There it goes. It's... Then that's it's showing the this zero. Uh, then let's click the temporary zero here. Temporary file CP two four zero. It is crucial to our T point one GB. Then Wait. it changed to install Muffin Core. Then click install Muffin Core. Let's click this. There. It's and then checking the system. Our, it asks us to type in our administrator password. Type. Then, 
then let's click the disk zero here the cp240 it is crucial 240.1 gb click. and there it goes it's installing open core copying open core removing press 16 ef i click this open core holder removing preston system folder uh, copying open core into EFI partition, adding and SSD then, icon, cleaning uh, install location, and mounting EFI partition. Open core transfer. Password. Type. Then click OK. Then let's return to the main menu. Click return to main menu. And there it goes. It's installing open core, tapping open core, removing pre existing EFI key. open core holder, removing pre existing system folder, uh, copying to open core EFI patches. partition, adding SSD icon, cleaning install location, <coughs> EFI partition, open core transfer. Then let's return to the main menu. Click return to main menu. And now we need to install the post volume patches. And let's uh, click post install volume patch. Click this. Post install root patch. And, and there it goes. It says open core legacy patcher post install menu. Available patches for system, graphics, NVIDIA, ESLA, uh, network, legacy, wireless, and the bottom start root patching, revert root patches, then return to main menu. And we're gonna do start root patching. We click on start root patching. And then it says relaunch as root. Open core legacy patcher needs to relaunch as admin to continue. You will be prompted to enter your password. So we'll get. And then we click on yes. And relaunching as root, closing old process. And then administrate password. And then we go back. Uh, what happened here? It's stuck up here. I don't think we don't need to install the post install root patch for. 2010 MacBook Pro. It's stuck here. What happened? It's stuck. Cannot go. Cannot post install with patch right now. I think it's stuck. Uh, 2010 model cannot post install it anymore. Cannot post install root patch anymore. It's stuck. I think it's already okay. Alert from call services UI agent. The application open call patch of copy is not open anymore. We'll just leave it right there. We'll just restart the machine. See, that's what it's telling. The application open core patcher copy is not open anymore. I think we do not need to post install to post install root patch anymore. It's already done. Just leave it like that. <laughs> 